Monday, November 7th, and this is my home for the next three days. I've been driving for the last uh, three, two and a half days uh, across country from, uh, from North Carolina to Colorado here. Going to be uh, camping right here next to this river in this uh, canyon right here for the next three days and doing some fly fishing and then uh, headed up uh, further north to uh, meet the brother-in-law and a few of his friends for an elk hunting trip. It's going to be a two weeks, uh, you know, unforgettable. It's going to be a, a great time. Let me go show you this uh, river here that I'm fishing on. Very small river that goes through this canyon here. Stopped in at a local fly shop about 20 miles back up in town. And uh, so they got Brook, Rainbow, and Brown in here. Could find a cutthroat. But I don't remember, he said 30 miles or so. I can keep, just keep fishing up this creek. I can hop in the Jeep and go explore. There's so many tributaries and stuff that run into this uh, river here. I mean, the water looks amazing. We've got the campsite set up, and uh, then I'm gonna fish a little bit. I actually already set up the, uh, the uh, flies on some tippet. So all I gotta do is put the rod together and then set it up real quick. And uh, I mean, this is a perfect spot here, uh, right below the campsite. So hopefully I'll see some wildlife. I know about two miles down the road, I caught, saw a couple of uh, sheep uh, coming down the side of the mountain, that was so cool. So I hope to see some right here by the campsite later. So anyway, I hope to land a couple of fish here this evening. And uh, for this trip, I'm actually going to uh, catch and cook right here. So we'll check back in on the first fish. All right, let's see if I can uh, get lucky here. Rig something up real quick. I'm gonna sneak in, try to hit this hole right here. Fish for about an hour, I guess. You can see the sun setting over the mountains behind me there. Let's see if I can get a couple of hits here. Got two of my own hand tied flies, a little purple zebra midge, and a WD 40. I picked up these from just watching some uh, videos of some guides that uh, fish up in this part of the country. So we'll see how that goes. Good little run here. Get out a little bit further here. That was a poor cast. There we go. That's a perfect drift right there. A little bit further. Deep run there. There we go. Second cast of the day. Go upstream a little bit. Man, I had a little bump there. There we go.
All right, so no hits yet. Made my way all the way down this run. So took my indicator off. I don't have any weight on these uh, nymphs, so they should float through here. Slowly go to the bottom. See if I can get anything to maybe hit on them here. No big deal if I don't catch anything. Maybe tomorrow. So I'm just chilling right now. That's actually my view. I mean, how good is that? Full moon right in the middle of the canyon. So it doesn't get any better than that. Chilling by the campfire, drinking some bourbon. In Colorado. Got the campfire going. It's probably approaching uh, upper 30s. You probably hear the creek there. I mean, it's just 10 yards, five yards below the campsite and I've got that view of a full moon coming up between the canyon life is good one additional add it is now 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time I mean that's cool to see that moon right now at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time that is pretty cool. I sure hope it's there tomorrow. All right, good morning. After two and a half days of driving, good night at the campsite. Slept really well. Went to bed about 8 o'clock. Slept practically the whole night. I got up this morning, taking my time, letting it warm up a little bit. It's about 35 uh, when I got up this morning, so not bad. There's no wind. I mean, it's pretty comfortable now. I'd say it's close to 50 probably. Uh, keep it close to 10 o'clock in the morning, so couldn't be any better here in Colorado. Right here at Streamside. So put together a couple rods, uh, several different types of nymphs on here, so we'll try to see what's uh, hitting. Check in on the uh, first catch. Hot damn. Oh, he's taking off. Oh, shit. Can't let him go down to the next level. I'll never get him. Come on. Got a brown. Beautiful Colorado brown. Oh, what a beauty. Wow. That is a beauty. 
getting down in the water there. All right, I'm not skunked. Well, I can take the skunk off and boy, he's a beauty. Man, look at this. Look at the spots. Beautiful orange spots. He's a good 14 incher. Man, that's beautiful. He's got himself tangled up here. I'm gonna stop the camera here and uh, get him untangled and then uh, get a release so I can keep him in the water here. So what a beauty he is. Caught him right here in this run. I'm so glad I got that whole thing on film. He was got all tangled up in the line, so I'm gonna do a little catch and cook tonight. I can keep uh, four brown, four rainbow in here. It's the creel limit. And then up to 10 brook. But uh, he, this guy's gonna be part of my dinner tonight. What a beauty. So thankful to be able to keep him on, man. He took off running through there. If he would have gone to this next level, you know, I don't know if I could have kept him because he would have just taken off. But uh, that's the beauty of uh, fly fishing for trout in these mountain waters. It's so exciting. So exciting. I caught him on the uh, red copper john. So hopefully there'll be a few more biting on that. That's a good sign. I've only been fishing about 15 minutes. So let's get it going again have here? A little rainbow? Yeah, there we go. The rainbow. What do you get? You actually got the uh, purple zebra midge. Nice. My own hand tied fly there. Sweet. Be still. Let him sneak on out of here. There he goes. Good and strong and healthy. All right. It's been a slow day, but maybe uh, I'm picking up here. Got the nice brown this morning, that rainbow there. See what else we can do. What a beauty. Look at the colors on him. He's going to run on me. He is going to run on me. Come on. Come see me. There we go. Look at the colors on him. Wow. That might be a cut bow. It's too big to pull. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Come on. Oh, yes. Woo. What a beauty. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Boy, it's heating up all of a sudden. The water's warming up. Look at the, the beaut. Beautiful.